What's going on guys and welcome back. In this quick video, I just want to show you guys how to remove the front lens cover off your headlamps. In order to get to this part, you obviously need to remove your headlamp off the car. You cannot do this while it's on the car. And in order to remove the headlamp off the car, you need to loosen the front bar. You don't have to remove the front bar completely, but you do have to loosen it enough in order to be able to remove the headlamp. I'm just going to explain briefly how to do it, but I've also got a video showing you how to remove the front bar on the W204. But I also wanted to mention that I have seen that it is a little bit different depending on the type of front bar you have. I have the 2010 model W204 C300 with the AMG Sports Package. With the AMG uh, Sports Package model like mine, the front bar is removed via two bolts on each side and then two bolts in the center of your uh, front bar but to where the headlight is, about this point here. And then I know that for the standard models, with the fog lights, um, you have something like two flaps at the bottom that you need to push down in order to release it. But on my car, you have these two Torx, you have Torx screws that you need to remove in order to release the front bar. Then you can uh, loosen the front bar and remove it. But I'll leave a video in the top corner right here where I show you guys how to disassemble, how to remove the front bar and disassemble certain parts like the LEDs and also remove the parking sensors if you need to fix them as well. Okay, so. Once you have loosened the front bar, there are three screws that hold this, three bolts that hold this head, headlamp to your car. There's one on the top corner here, you have to reach underneath your headlamp support bar and uh, you'll find an 8mm bolt there. And then you'll find another 10mm bolt on the side here that holds in your light as well. And then you will find another, another bolt on the side here as well. Once you remove those three bolts, you'll be able to remove the headlamp from the car. And once you get to this part, you're going to need either a hairdryer or a heat gun. Now, I've done it with both and they both work just fine. And what you need to do is use a, a box or a cupboard that can house the uh, headlamp easily. You need to heat up the headlamp enough in order to uh, pry it apart from the seal that they use in order to seal your headlamp. Now, it is something like D-Mastic. Okay, and this is what it is here, okay, D-Mastic. It's a type of sealant that can seal like concrete, basically different types of material like concrete, wood, plastic, uh, things like that. It's just applied so that it can create an airtight seal. And that's what they use to seal headlights. Now you can get it in a, a caulking gun like this, or you can get it in a strip. Uh, either way, as long as it's demastic, you'll be able to use it to seal your headlamp. You are going to need this in order to reseal it later. Now, in order to remove your headlamp, what I like to do is I like to pry the four clips first. You have four clips that hold your headlamp uh, together, and th these are the clips here. There's one clip there, there's one more up the top here, and then two more at the bottom. And you just need like a flathead screwdriver so that you can just pry them off. You want to remove your lens cover for a couple of different reasons. In my case, I'm fixing a headlamp in this case, so I'm going to remove the internals of a headlamp over to another backing shell, for the backing shell is a little bit cracked here, that way it can look fresh and new again. In the process, I'm also going to do a couple of little mods as well, so uh, be sure you subscribe and uh, ring that notification bell to, to keep up with the upload, so you know when I release that video. I'm going to do a video showing you how to modify your headlamps, and I'm going to do a, a couple of cool little things to the headlamps in order to make it look uh, unique and stand out above the rest. Now just getting back to your headlamps and how to uh, remove it, what you need to do is you need to heat it up enough so that the D-mastic is soft enough for you to pry apart the headlamp, the, the, the lens cover off the backing of the housing. You just need something like a box or a cupboard where you can store the headlamp and then heat, heat it up for a, uh, about 10 to 15 minutes depending on the heat setting you, have, you use. And then from there, you will already have these clips pried off or it doesn't really matter, you just pry it off after. And then you can begin to just pull apart your headlamp and it will come off just by, just from brute strength. You can just start to pull it off. Just be very careful when you pull it apart that you do not break anything. I'm going to show you guys how I do it and I like to use a um, trim removal, a clip removal tool. This removes clips, so you get the clip in between here and then you just pry it up like that, see? So I'm going to use this in between the headlamp 
and the uh, headlight lens. I'm going to put it in between and then I'm just going to pry it apart. It's going to help me separate it all the way, all along it. And then I'll just pull apart the headlamp. To use a cardboard box, you just need a confined space that can evenly distribute heat around the whole headlight so that it can heat up the mastic that seals the headlamp in order for you to pry it apart. That's it. So I use a box that is a little bit bigger than the headlamp and all I use is a heat gun like this. Okay, and I put it on either low or high. It's just up to you. Just be sure to um, keep track of how you're heating it and where you're heating it. And do not directly put the heat gun or your hair block or your hair dryer directly to the plastic. You're going to melt the plastic because it does get pretty hot. You want to face it away from the headlamp. Do not point it directly at the headlamp. That is not going to be good for your headlamp. It will probably melt it a little bit and you don't want to do that. Other people also tend to use a, an oven. You can do that. Um, just be sure that you put it on like a towel, something that can um, absorb heat so that the towel doesn't melt or it doesn't cause a fire. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's jump into the next step and I'll show you guys how I heat it up, what I use and also how I take off the lens cover. You have to remove four clips, okay? These clips are going to look like this, as you can see right here. And in order to pry them off, you can use a flathead screwdriver or just a uh, scribe like this and you just pry it up like that. Okay, and then it just comes off, see? Just like that. And then there's another one here, so I'll remove all four of them. That's two. Two more down the bottom. Just be careful when working with your headlight. Work slowly so you do not break anything. Another one here. And another one right next to where your ballast is. There we go, and that's four clips removed that hold your headlight together. I actually leave my ballast in place because as you can see here, your ballast sits on the ground and it is the only thing holding your headlight up. In order to bake it, all I've got here is a, a big enough box that will house the headlight and then the reason why I leave my ballast on is so that I can sit it inside and it will sit on top of the ballast. I can now just point my heat gun. So if you look here, I've got a heat gun set up right there. And that's just going to point inside the box. Try not to point it directly to your, your headlight. Remember, your headlight does have plastic on the outside. You want to just point it away from your headlight and let it heat up the box. And then after about 10-15 minutes, you should be able to remove the the headlight and start to pry it apart. And I'll show you how to do that in 15 minutes when we get back. Point it in the box, away from the headlight. We put this down so I cover most of the heat, like so. I've got a little gap here, so all I do now is just get like a towel, a cloth, and I just cover it so that the heat can stay inside. And all you need is a box like this. Or if you have a cupboard, you could do that. Either way, you just need to make sure that you've boxed in the heat so that it can heat up the headlight evenly. That's how it looks like in the box. The heat gun is pointing directly in that corner and then it will move around and heat up the whole headlight. And if you take a look down at the bottom here, you'll see that it's sitting on top of the ballast. Now, all I do is I close it, give it a uh, good seal, uh, the best seal possible. The heat is going to point directly in. Just turn it on low. And we've already taken a look, as you can see, it doesn't have to be completely sealed. You know, you can have a little bit of gap. As long as the majority of the box is sealed, then you're going to have no trouble heating up the box and heating up the headlight and uh, pull apart the headlight. Okay, so that's about uh, 15 minutes now. I'm going to turn off the heat gun, remove everything. I'm going to use just some gloves. It's going to be very hot, do not break anything. I'm going to sit the ballast on top of this book here. Now we're going to separate it. We get our tool here, put it in between the headlight and the plastic and pry apart. Work our way all the way around. Yeah, it's coming apart real easily. Show you. There you go, as you can see, it comes apart real easily. There you go. 
The heat is what allows it to come apart real easily. Without heat, you're not going to be able to separate your headlight at all. Just be very careful. Okay, we can now just pull it apart, like so. It is very hot, so just grip the headlight and then pull it apart. As you can see. Make sure you detach your bulbs, your uh, parking lights. And then when you've got some mastic here, you just break it apart and pull apart your headlight. Okay, that's the top separated. Now we can separate the bottom and we just pull it apart. There we go. And that's your headlight separated. Now I have the lens cover removed here. I want to also point out that you've got to be very careful not to get anything on the, the chrome plastic part. It's just very cheap chrome paint that they use for these headlamps. Try not to get the mastic directly onto it because it will scratch it. Be sure not to break anything. Make sure you take care of all your wires. Make sure that none of them are, are broken and uh, you can check all these things when you have the uh, headlamp lens off. Usually you won't be able to see any of this. Also, like I said, I'm going to be doing a couple of modifications to it. Be sure to stay tuned for that video so you can see for yourself what I do to the headlamp in order to modify it and make it unique in every way possible. When it comes to putting the headlamp back together, you need to add a bit of demastic, okay? This is why I like to put in a caulking gun like this and just cut the tip off a little bit so I can control the amount of demastic that comes out. And then you just have to apply a little bit all the way around and get your headlamp, your lens cover and put it back together. But once you can put, go put it back together, you need to use something like vice grips or a, a clamp and you need to clamp it back together. That way you know you're going to get a perfectly tight seal. You want to make sure you get a good seal, that way you don't introduce things like moisture or mist, because moisture and mist can cause the electronics to malfunction as um, they're not designed to get wet. hope this video helps you and uh, it shows you how to remove your, your lens cover so that you can get to the internals of your headlamp for whatever the reason may be. If you need to replace anything, if you need to uh, check out a motor, anything like that. I'm not going to show you how to disassemble this at the moment, we'll save that for another video. And there you have it guys, how to remove the lens cover of your W204. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Mike with Mikey's Vlog signing off. Until next time guys.